Hey guys, it's Justin here. And if you've been following along with our S71 Silverado build, you know we've been slowly transforming this truck into a serious overlanding rig. Which means we're giving it plenty of performance upgrades and off-road gear to ensure it handles whatever the trail throws at it. And since this Silverado is going to be spending a lot of time off-road, we're going to be upgrading its external lighting system with some help from Rigid, as well as installing a handy Garmin switch box that allows you to control it all from your smartphone or Garmin GPS device. But before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the Project Silverado action, as well as any other videos from Summit Racing. So let's get to it. Being able to see is obviously pretty important, and it's even more important whenever you're venturing off paved roads. So to help blaze a path through the night, we've installed a plethora of powerful auxiliary lights from Rigid. All these lights from Rigid feature LED technology, which is short for light emitting diodes. That's a fancy way of saying these lights don't have a filament like the traditional light bulbs you're used to. And for the off-roading crowd, LEDs have a ton of advantages over conventional light bulbs. They draw less power, they create less heat, they emit more pure light, and they tend to handle bumps and vibrations better than regular bulbs, like older halogen or incandescent light bulbs. Here's one of Rigid's 20-inch light bars that we've pre-installed in the Silverado's front bumper in a previous episode. It's big, it's durable, and it's bright. We've also pre-installed a pair of rigid cube lights in the front bumper too, and thrown a set of amber covers on them for kicks. They're small, durable, and an easy way to add some powerful lights without a lot of serious modifications. Out back, we've attached some rigid LED light cubes to the rear bumper as well. And that's an important thing to consider. With all the attention we've paid to forward-facing lights, if you've ever had to navigate a tight trail or a crowded campsite, you already know how valuable a powerful set of backup lights can be. But what's really neat about all these lights is we'll be able to control them from our smartphone, thanks to our Garmin power switch accessory. The Garmin controller lets us power a bunch of electrical accessories without having to run a bunch of wires into the truck cab or cut holes in the dash for switches. Each of the six accessory ports can handle up to 30 amps with a 100 amp maximum for the whole system. The whole module lives under the hood of our Silverado, where you just need to run a few short electrical wires to each accessory, along with a main power hookup to the vehicle's battery. Then, with Bluetooth technology, you just link the box to your phone or tablet, and you're ready to go. Don't want to use your smartphone? No problem. The Power Switch controller can also link to a compatible Garmin GPS navigator, like the Garmin Overlander we have here. But we'll talk about that more in a second. We're going to run you through how we installed our Garmin Power Switch. It's a super simple installation. First, you're going to want to hook it up to power. So we ran our power cables directly to our battery. Next, you're one going to connect your accessories, and you have six spots to do that. So, you just have to run your power wire for your accessory up to the Garmin power switch. Then you can pick up ground anywhere, whether it be off the frame, or you can do it like how we did it here, and just all to one spot. So, after that's hooked up, then you can test your accessories. And the Garmin power switch has these slick buttons on top to allow you to do that. Each of these circuits is rated for up to 30 amps, but no more than 100 amps for the total system. It's a really, really easy installation and we can't wait to use more of these in the future. So now that we've got our wiring cleaned up and we've ran you through how the Garmin Power Switch works, we're gonna tell you a little more about the Power Switch app on our Garmin Overlander device. We've already gone ahead and customized our first accessory and we're gonna show you how to do that. So you hit the edit button select your accessory, and then you can rename it. So we'll rename this one for our front lights. Front cube lights. We'll select the icon. And even a fun color. You also can select what kind of button you're gonna use for normal, momentary, or strobe. Also has cool features, like if you turn your light bars on, it shows you an amp draw and how many volts your battery has. All right, that's enough messing around with this thing. And it's a lot more than a fancy light switch. And we'll dive a lot deeper into all the features and capabilities of the Overlander unit in a later episode. So stay tuned for that. Now that our Silverado has some suspension and off-road upgrades and is running a new auxiliary light system in this powerful navigation unit, it's time to focus more on the overlanding specific stuff in an upcoming video. We'll be installing some equipment racks, cargo storage solutions, and a rooftop tent so we can carry all the comforts of home with us. So 
Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of the action of Project Silverado as we'll be wrapping this up in just a few short episodes. I'm Justin with Summit Racing. Thanks for watching.